We are going to treat this tank for planaria, hydra, things of that nature. Usually you get these things by not quarantining, you, you know, your particular, particularly plants, but they can also come in your water. My city water is little, very lightly treated, so I can get some things in it every once in a while. Um, all right. I keep shrimp though, so these things are not good. So we are going to treat this tank. I am using this product. All right, and this is for Hydra, Planaria, things of that nature, these soft bodied organisms. I see this recommended a lot. I see a lot of silly things recommended. Get snails, get this fish or that fish, get this product. Why anybody would suggest you add snails to an aquarium is beyond me, but there's some interesting advice on the internet. All right. How these organisms kill our fish and shrimp, it doesn't really matter. They're usually stinging organisms, you know, like the hydra. I think these planaria actually have a uh, poisonous... Uh, or some sort of slime coat that uh, incapacitates a shrimp. I think that's how a planaria kills a shrimp, but regardless, they're not the best to have in shrimp tanks. So let's get rid of them. I use this product, this uh, fenbendazole, fenbendazole, all right? It's a K90 wormer. You can get it at most stores that sell any pet products. I have been experimenting with minimum dosage. I see that's a, a big debate also, how much. All right, I got a 75 gallon tank here. I actually treated several tanks already a few days, or uh, actually uh, two, three weeks ago. Um, so one treatment of this worked. How much for this 75 gallon tank it was one gram may not seem like much but that's what it took one gram um, took a couple days after a few days planaria were dead or looked like they wanted to be dead and i haven't seen one <clears throat> in any of those tanks since all right so one gram in the 75 gallon tank I would mix it with a with some warm water and dissolve it first. That's what I'm doing to treat this tank. One gram. 